It is a thrill. I love this show. You're telling me a big fat lot. I was hoping for funny crazy. Think you can replace me with some other guy? Go ahead. It won't be the same. It is mightiest in the mightiest. Do not bring Shakespeare into this. You're so smart. Oh, really? Well, so are you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Brian Williams' apology, unlike his helicopter, is under fire. That is NBC News anchor Brian Williams' mistake he made about coming under real fire in 2003 during the invasion in Iraq. NBC brass are freaking out over this and questions about Williams' credibility are rising. Wednesday night, Williams told the audience of his NBC Nightly News, I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RP fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. He went on to say, this was a bungled attempt by me to thank one special veteran. Williams spoke of the 2003 incident while honoring a retired command sergeant major at the Rangers game last Friday. Fans gave the soldier a standing ovation. But the problem is that Williams' helicopter was never hit. His apology was prompted by a story in Stars and Stripes in which crew members on the helicopter that was hit said Williams was nowhere near it. Williams and his camera crew were actually aboard a Chinook that was about an hour behind the three helicopters that did indeed come under fire. Said Williams, I don't know what screwed up in my mind that caused me to conflate one aircraft with another. Now critics are wondering if Williams' career may be shot. If credibility means anything to NBC, Brian Williams will no longer be managing editor and anchor of the evening newscast by the end of the day Friday. That yesterday from David Zerowick, the Baltimore Sun media critic. It gets worse. Turns out Brian Williams didn't really do all those Jimmy Fallon rap songs either. Ashley Graham is making history as the first plus-size model to appear in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Flaunting her killer frame in a tiny black string bikini designed by Swimsuits for All, an online swimsuit retailer for curvy women. The swimwear store has unveiled the new hashtag Curves in Bikinis ad campaign in the pages of Sports Illustrated, marking the first time a plus-size model has celebrated her curves in the annual swimsuit issue, which was first published in 1964. Well, this is kind of odd. The Pope's Harley Davidson went on sale yesterday. Oh yeah, well-maintained, low mileage, only driven to church on Sundays. Sources are saying that Lady Gaga was at the airport in Los Angeles without pants. Anything to get through security faster. North Korea has called off any future nuclear talks with the United States and instead is issuing new threats, like hacking the movie Fifty Shades of Grey and replacing it with the cast of 60 Minutes. Reports are saying that malls in China are empty because people are just staying at home and purchasing online. What's the point of being a first-class economy if you can't purchase a big-screen TV in your boxers? Rap mogul Suge Knight has been charged with a hit-and-run murder. I just can't believe the guy is guilty. I mean, he looks so innocent. CBS has pulled the comedy The McCarthy's. Better late than never, I say. North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis said that he thinks restaurant employees shouldn't be forced to wash their hands before preparing food. The same way, apparently, politicians are required to think before speaking. In Pennsylvania, a man pleaded guilty to helping people cheat drug tests by selling them fake urine. He was so scared upon conviction that there was a fake wet spot in his pants. Harper Lee, the author of To Kill a Mockingbird, is publishing her second novel after a 55-year hiatus. I believe the new one is called Mock 2, Mock Harder. And Charles Manson's marriage license is expiring this week, which means that he will have to reapply if he still wants to marry his girlfriend. Or, you know, he could just break the law. Things aren't looking good, though. I just saw his profile is back up on eHarmony. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show starring Frank D'Angelo. Live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern here on NSS.